let's start the show. It actually started in San Diego. I was there for a tango festival and learning how to dance and had a little cultural shock while I was there. And when, when I woke up on the New Year's Day 2017, I started to think like, well, we need to, usually people do New Year's resolutions. So I was trying to figure out what I can do that I can actually uphold. So I tried to keep my standards so, <laughs> kind of up there so I can do that. And I decided that that year I will just uphold like old tradition from home where my mom would make us eat a lentil soup on a New Year's Day. So I walked around San Diego, Pierre's and all the restaurants on the beach, on the river, like ocean front, and couldn't find lentils. And I like that tradition actually, like the eating lentil soup much better than Christmas dinner, where we actually as kids were made to eat a carp. <laughs> Talk about torture. But Christmas at our home was, well, Christmas, like for any kid. The tree was laden with chocolates and sweets and cookies. And any time I had a sweet tooth, I, would, I could like, sneak in and get something out of the tree. And in fr before the car, we would have nice wafer with the honey on top. Of, and my dad would put honey on my forehead so I would be good. And also, it was the only time where bananas were kind of plentiful. We could buy oranges, and you can go to the store and buy peanuts. Unheard of. And there were some good foods, like sauerkraut soup, which I always looked forward to eating to this day. And my mom ultimately caved in and switched from carp and started making fish fillets for us. But I do remember, like my mom, she was a nurse, and she always struggled, like we didn't have a lot of money, she, she always struggled to get presents ready, everything ready, all the food serves, everything be, be nice, and right as we finished the dinner, she had to run away to her shift, and be gone, so she was rarely at home over the holidays because she had to work and save all the people who were choking on the carb bones. <laughs> so on New Year's Day, I like that because there was no standards to uphold. The only standard you had was to have a lovely bowl of lentil soup. And as I walked there on the San Diego, I was thinking back to Montana. Like, when we had a visitors from France, and they came over to visit us one year. And the biggest surprise when we were shopping for food in Bozeman was when we walked into town and country, and they found French gourmet lentils on the shelves. Couldn't believe that we, they grow here and they are right here available. And there in San Diego, I was just trying to get any dish with just single lentil in it. Somebody ultimately pointed me to the Indian restaurant a couple miles downtown, which made me think about my travels in Nepal where dal, which is how actually main staple in their culture and in their food is made of lentils. So it's dal and rice and, and some greens. And that was when my obsession started to sprout. <laughs> and I started to think about lentils and I started talking to people about lentils and I searched and searched for restaurants particularly looking for restaurants which actually do carry lentil dishes and whenever I find any, aren't we all drooling right now? Like, make sure you wipe your seats afterwards. <laughs> but um, 
Anyway, so I started talking about lentils to everybody who could listen, and a friend of mine mentioned that actually there is a book I should read, which ultimately I did, and I found out why we have lentils in Montana and so many different kinds of lentils and how they came about to be here so prevalent. And that made me actually think that I, I, I never ever seen a lentils, how they grow. So here's a picture for you. I actually, right before this presentation, this is the first picture of lentils I've ever seen, of how they look in natural wildlife. And <clears throat> since then, I found many different ways of eating lentils and sources of lentils. Up there are all Montana lentils, but there are lentils chip, lentil tacos, Pasta, fantastic. Don't expect taste like pasta, but it has the same structure and holds your sauce the same way as any other pasta. And those are those fantastic French lentils, gourmet delicacy from French, France, living, growing right here in Montana. And how fabulous would it be to feed the world with lentils? And I urge you now, like, now is the good time to pull out your phone and text your friends and say, come on, have a lentil party and maybe start a new tradition on New Year's Day. <laughs> have a food party with lentil soup and I guarantee you will be all rich and beautiful. Rich with friends and, and, and enjoyment and beautiful to everybody whose life you touched. Thank you.